Uh, fair to say that you're perhaps somewhat unimpressed by some of the uh, suggestions in that third point letter the other day? So first off, uh, I think Intel does need to do a better job reassuring its investors and customers about 10 nanometer, 7 nanometer manufacturing and its new way of doing designs. But with that said, the third point letter brings nothing new to the table that uh, other investors haven't talked to Intel about or that Intel hasn't looked at and is already executing uh, on it. I mean, there's this notion that Intel doesn't already use external uh, foundries like TSMC. The fact is that they do, and they have for about 20 years, and I believe their new graphics chip uses T, uh, TSMC. Uh, it's already simplifying its design. Uh, inside our tech beltway, we call it a disaggregated design. But what that means is a simpler design that's lower risk uh, for uh, the fabs. So splitting up Intel into a manufacturing entity and a design entity really doesn't make uh, any sense to me uh, whatsoever. Um, all right, fair to say. You know, at the same time, when you do get an activist like Third Point, they can capitalize on the frustration of a good many long-term investors in the stock uh, and actually bring that to bear in terms of some changes on the board or even in the executive chair. Is that your expectation here, or do you think it goes nowhere? Uh, I think I agree with you. Uh, thir third point is coming in to get their pound of flesh uh, out of Intel. And uh, like we've seen with other activist uh, investors, uh, will go away after there's some agreement or some semblance, or uh, they, they, they made enough uh, money. I, I, I just don't think there's enough new things here to, to go after. And if you look competitively, uh, AMD getting Xilinx, that's a move that Intel already made. If you look at uh, what NVIDIA is doing with ARM, that's getting NVIDIA big time into CPU compute. And that's something that Intel already does. Uh, the final thing is Intel already jettisoned its modem operations and manned memory operations, which was another point the third point brought in their letter that that the that the company has already done. Now listen, I am not saying Intel hasn't had its basket of issues. Uh, I do believe its strategy is is right uh, in in what it's doing. Being being an integrated design manufacturer or an IDM actually increases margin. So I would love to see third point spreadsheet that says that. Intel could achieve higher margins without having manufacturing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.